All right, we've simplified a problem like this, but it had variables, right? The x. This one doesn't have any variables, so we're just going to solve this thing. Let's look first at the order of operations. We'll do the parentheses first. 14 minus 0 0.4 is 13.6. So let's look at the rest of this thing. It's a parentheses right there. 4.8 plus this 1.2 squared minus the 8.5 times, there's a decimal, 13.6. Well, we do have an exponent right here. 1.2 times 1.2 should be 1.44. So now we got 4.8 plus this 1.44 minus 8.5 times. 13.6 and we can look at multiplication now 8.5 times 13.6 oh boy let's remember we got two decimal places I got 85 times 136 so 30 alright there we go when we multiply those but again we had the two decimal places which would be the 6 and the 0 so that gives us 115.6. And the rest of it stayed the same. 4.8 plus 1.44. That's a minus, by the way. So let's now add from left to right and subtract. There's no, mul no more multiplication or division. That's uh, 6.24. Minus 115.6. So since we're subtracting a number that's bigger, we can take the 115 and really subtract a 6.24. And just know that this is negative. We'll borrow here. 6. Negative 109.36. That looks to be our answer.